One of the common tasks in electronics is to fade an LED on and off or set it to a certain brightness level. And one of the ways we do that is with something called pulse width modulation. We usually just abbreviate it as PWM. So the neat thing is um, when you're setting a brightness of an LED, for example, with PWM, um, it's actually flashing on and off very quickly, and it's a trick of the eye and the way that your brain perceives it um, that makes it appear to be halfway on, for example. Uh, theoretically, we could just set the voltage um, to half of the LEDs um, uh, forward voltage or um, actually you, uh, you could also control the brightness with um, um, resisting how much current can flow through the LED but oftentimes these are variables in the circuit that we can't change obviously to swap out a resistor um, in order to change the brightness in an LED is not practical when your circuit is already built. What we want to be able to do is control our electronics um, in a variable way with, without needing to swap out any hardware. So that's one general application for uh, this PWM. So the idea um, behind PWM or pulse width modulation is that you are generating pulses um, of current that vary in how wide they are. You modulate how wide the pulses are and um, what, how, how do you define the width of a pulse? How, you know, how, how can a pulse be wide or narrow anyway? Um, so what I mean is this. Say, for example, you're running an Arduino, which is a 5-volt system. And I'm going to make a little chart. It goes from 0 to 5 volts. Um, and let's say we wanted to gradually increase the brightness of an LED from totally off to totally on. The one way I talked about would be to gradually increase the voltage. So um, whenever time is at zero, you know, you would, your voltage would, you could have it linearly um, increase. So it would slowly ramp up the voltage. Uh, but the problem with that is an LED can't light up at all at zero volts. You know, there's a certain point where the LED will uh, reach its on voltage or its uh, forward voltage. It'll turn on and then it will gradually get brighter um, until it gets to its maximum brightness. Um, but an Arduino cannot generate a varying voltage. Uh, so instead, what we're going to do um, right, is vary the amount of time that the LED spends in the on state. Um, so in digital electronics, things are usually on or off. And so I'm going to draw one of these graphs, and whenever my line is at the top, that means that it's on all the way. When it's at the bottom, that means it's off all the way. So um, we might start at the LED is on, and we'll keep it on for half the time, and then it goes off for the same amount of time and then on. So basically you can see I'm drawing a square wave. Um, 
This is called a square wave because yeah, it looks like a bunch of squares. And imagine that the duration of um, this distance right here is only one millisecond, right? So it's a thousandth of a second, very, very short. And, and remember, each time my line is up, the LED is on. So um, if your eye could see fast enough, um, you'd be able to tell that the LED was flashing very, very quickly. But because of um, the way that your eye perceives vision, um, anything that flashes around 40, 50-ish, depends on the person, times per second, your brain just interprets it as all the way on, like it does not interpret flashing anymore. Um, so this is neat because now we have something that's flashing, but it looks like it's on. Now what if we were to change the amount of time spent on, the amount of time spent off? So one more graph here. 0 to 5 volts. This time, um, we're going to turn the LED on for 10 milliseconds. And we're going to turn it off for that, that's, uh, we'll just call that 1 millisecond. And we're going to repeat this pattern so it's still a square wave, um, sort of, except that we have changed the width of our pulse. Um, and you, you could say that, like, this section here is your pulse. You, you could say that. Um, because that's that's when your device or LED or whatever is on. Um, so from this example to this example, our pulse got wider and the um, off portion got narrower. Um, and whenever you look at this LED, it's going to look like it is on very bright um, because it only spends... Uh, if you do a ratio, well, it's approximately 10% of the time being off. Um, but if you were to do it the opposite, you know, where, where it was on for just a little bit and then off for a long and then on for just a little bit like that, um, now it's going to be appear very dim, even though the LED is turning on all the way to 5 volts uh, and then back all the way off, your eye perceives it as being 10%-ish on. Um, so that's the theory behind pulse width modulation. Um, and now I'm going to show you um, this setup I have. It's an Arduino with an oscilloscope so that we can actually uh, watch what's going on. This is the entire Arduino sketch, very simple. And what I have it set up to do is when I type in a number between 0 and 255, um, it will set the brightness um, of the LED. It will set the PWM to that value. And to really get an idea of what I mean, let me just type in 128, which is right smack in the middle of 255 about. Um, and now let's look at the oscilloscope, and we can see um, that it's spending half the time at zero volts and half the time at five volts, and our LED is on. Um, but it is flashing. And if I were to set it to 255, now we look at our oscilloscope, we see that it that is, in fact, a straight line at five volts. Um, so this program just allows me to set the pulse width, um, where 0 means all the way off, 128 means half the time off, half the time on, and 255 means um, all the way on. So what if we do something low, like 10? 
Now look at our LED. Actually, let me change it back to 255 so that you can see it change. There you go. Set it back to uh, 10, and look how dim it gets. In fact, we can get even lower than that. We can set it to 1. And you can see on the oscilloscope um, that this is a very narrow um, period of time that that LED is spending in the on state. Uh, still getting five volts, you know, you're never getting like two and a half or something. The Arduino can't do that. Um, but you can see that that LED is just ever, you know, just barely, it seems that it's barely emitting light to our eyes. So this is um, a very common technique for dimming lights. Um, but it can also be reapplied in things like motor control, you know? Rather than adjusting the voltage that you're outputting to a motor, um, you can simply turn it on and off very, very quickly. And since the motor has momentum as it's spinning, um, it won't immediately stop as soon as you turn it off. So, um, really, if I had connected a motor to this LED, it would, I would be able to control the speed, um, except that the Arduino cannot provide enough electric current um, through its digital pins uh, to something like a motor. It would take perhaps 10 times the amount of electric current to, well, it, obviously it, it depends on the size of the motor, but um, for, for your simple, like, 3 volt toy DC motor, yeah, it would still take 10 times more. Um, but the idea is exactly the same. It's that you don't have to control the voltage. You, know, you can just set a number um, and effectively change the brightness or the speed. Um, Uh, to any value in between. And you could also, you know, write a program that changes the number um, very quickly to make it look like it's fading. Um, I didn't do that in this demo, but you can just imagine it if I started at a brightness of 1 and then did, t you know, very quickly later did 10 and then 20 and then 30, that LED is gradually getting brighter, 40, 50, 60, right, and if you had a computer program do that, you could get it to fade on and off. Um, you know, just like a Macintosh, the power indicator does that nice easy fade on and off. And that's not controlling the voltage, that's just um, flashing it on and off and the percentage of time spent on versus the percentage of time spent off. Uh, one neat trick that you can use to tell if something is, um, be, or, or if PWM is in play uh, when controlling LEDs, if you take the, if, if you're able to physically hold the device, and you, you may not be able to catch this on camera, so you might just have to trust me. Yeah, well, anyway, if you shake it back and forth, um, your eyes will then be able to pick up the pulses happening. And you can actually tell, get an idea of what percentage it's being flashed at. Uh, so you might be able to do this, for example, the lights on your car dashboard. So anyway, that's it's just a neat little trick. I wish it worked on camera, but <laughs> eyes and... That, that's the thing. It It's... A, important to remember, PWM works because of the way our brain interprets uh, light, the way our brain receives it. Um, if our brains could think a hundred times faster, then we would just have to flash the lights a hundred times faster. So that's the basics behind PWM. I hope um, that helped you to understand it enough um, that you can reapply it. Thanks. Bye.
stop.